Morning YouTubers, welcome to Whistle Allotments. I hope you like the intro there to the um, to the video. <laughs> well, today we've got a problem down here on Whistle Allotments. We've had problems in the past, but it's it's got to that extent now where um, the back on my pen, um, in my it, it's going around my pen, they can't get in the pen, but they're thereabouts, and I don't know anywhere near me chicken these rats. So. Um, I'm going to show you where the, the rats are actually nesting and we'll come back here. Hi guys, um, just here in my compost bin near my chickens I've noticed, see all this here, this soil all here, it's all been kicked out of the compost bin and just here where I'm pointing with a stick there's an hole which goes right in into the middle of the chicken, into the middle of the compost bin. Now that tells me we've got rats on the allotments. What do you say there, guys? Do you think we've got rats? Hmm? Well, them aside, inside there, some really, really big brown rats. And um, we need to find a method to actually get rid of them. Now I've come up with a few um, different traps and I'm going to go through the traps with you. The ones we're going to be using and the ones we're not going to be using. So um, let's get back up to the front of the plot and we can talk about what we're going to use to keep these rats under control. Not you guys. I think we can um, safely say you're okay. So as you just saw there, that's where they're nesting. They're nesting inside the, the compost bin. Now it's the warmest place on the allotments and that's where they're going to go. They're going to go into the heart of it and they're going to keep warm over winter. They're going to come out in the summer and they're going to breed like Billy O. Well, if they're not already breeding like Billy O there now. The thing is, I've set traps in the past. Um, caught rats, but I also caught in, um, in about, I think it's about, June, I caught um, a little robin redbreast in this contraption here. Now it was like that, there was corn on it, not poison corn, I didn't have any poison corn at the time, I just had normal corn, so I put corn on it, it was inside the compost bin guys, with the lid on it, the bird had got in through a gap and started feeding it in, snap, goes in, to my order, this little um, robin redbreast, it's got its leg, its leg was, it's got, it's caught its leg inside the trap, but f lucky for the bloody, um, the robin, um, there was, must have been corn on the, the teeth here, and as it come down, it, it sort of jammed like that, but the, the, the robin couldn't get its leg out, so I was there at the time when I heard it, so opened the thing up, seen it, got hold of the, the bird, released it, Looked at its leg, there was no marks on its leg, it hadn't broke its leg, I would have thought it had snapped its leg in half or something, or it had been hanging off. But no, it was perfectly fine guys. Put it on my hand, it stood up and flew off, and you see it from time to time flying around the um, the allotments. It normally sits, when I'm digging up, it's there on the wheelbarrow waiting for worms which I throw it. So this is a no-no, can't use this unfortunately. However, we've come up with a, another form of rat trap come up with these rat traps here. Now I've got several of them. Um, I'm going to be putting them, they're not cheap these by the way. Um, this is the the bait that you put in them. And uh, well we're going to leave that one free. But I just opened that the robin doesn't go inside here and think it's uh, a nest box. <laughs> but uh, we're going to put these around the, um, the chicken pen and hopefully we're going to see these rats off again. Yeah, I can't believe we got rats. Now we've we in the early days we going back a, about a year or so we had a, we had actually had rats on there. We got rid of them all um, out of my around my my plot, but they're still there anyhow. The thing was, um, I'm going to show you a picture of a rat what I dispatched. Now look away, guys. 
um, if you you know you're feeling a bit squeamish. But I'll, I'll tell you a little a little bit about it before we even show you this picture, so it gives you a little chance to think about whether you want to look at it. It's not blood and guts and all that; like it just looks like it's asleep. But the shock you'll get when you see the size of it, unbelievable. Anyhow, um, I, I, this particular day, I went inside the the chicken pen to feed the chickens uh, to to let the chickens out of the coop because I lock them up at night. And uh, I seen this thing scurrying in the corner, and the next minute it runs runs towards the door, but the door was shut. Now I have a, a trowel to pick up the, the the chicken droppings in the pen, and it run up the side of the. Um, it couldn't get through the hole because it was that fat. It couldn't get back through the hole, so what it did, it run up the side of the the pen. Anyhow, I hit it a few times over the head with the with the with the trowel, and obviously it was gone within seconds. It was out. It was no more basically, but um, yeah, this rat is absolute monster. It's not the biggest rats I've seen on here, so I'm going to show it you now. So look away if you don't want to see it, but it just looks like it's asleep, guys. But look at the size of this bugger. <laughs> eh? The shovel's this wide. It'd have trouble getting through that hole, guys. That's how big that rat was. It was a donkey of a rat. Anyhow, um, we we actually buried it in the orchard, um, and it's underneath one of the apple trees, which is doing really well. So it did come to it did come to some use in the end, but um, yeah, unfortunately, we can't have rats on here. Now, I was a bit annoyed a couple of weeks ago. Um, the chicken crew have got rats in their pen. I think they're underneath the coop actually. And uh, they, they try to get some sort of form of rat poison. In fact, there's going to be a meeting about the rats on here in the next uh, meeting. And um, the rats have got into the pen. Um, they started eating all the, the, co the, the pellets and what have you. And someone must have seen the rats have been eating it. Instead of putting the, the pellets in the bin, in a bag and in the bin and moving them off the site, he decided to leave them at the top of the um, the chicken um, run, um, the outside of the chicken and uh, the communal chickens, and left them on the path. Well, I come on at the night time, and I thought, what are them cats doing up there? And as I got closer, guys, these rats was twice the size of that one what you just seen on the shovel, and that was a bloody big rat. I reported it to the um, the chairman. The chairman... Um, it was too late, too late to do anything. It was in the pitch black at night. So the first thing the next morning, me and the um, the chairman, well, the chairman actually removed all the car and uh, put a notice to say, don't you know, to who, to whoever's done it, don't do that again because you know of the rat problem. So um, yeah, um, like I say, I'm I'm, I'm going to show you this um, what what the, this uh, perpetrator actually did. Absolutely crazy. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Someone has tipped a load of corn and pellets, chicken pellets, on the path here. We're talking half a sack of, uh, it must be 50, about 25, 30 pound of um, pellets. Right where the chickens are. If that ain't going to attract rats, I don't know what is. Absolute, uh, incredibly stupid thing for someone to so do. So as you can see, I got really wound up about that. <laughs> Um, so, um, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna put these traps around the the, the chicken pen now. Um, I've got a friend of mine, Mark. Now, Mark watches my videos, and he he works for the council. In fact, he is the council, and um, <laughs> um, um, he said he's got a box of um, bait for me. Um, I hope he, he, he when he's watching this, I hope he remembers it, where it is. He said it's in his it's in his office. On the floor at the side of his desk, a big box of it. So, uh, Matt, I think we need some rat poison, mate. Uh, so, if you can remember to drop that off, it'd be great. But yeah, uh, unbelievable. I mean, these rat traps are about 18. Uh, oh, oh, which other? Oh, oh, um, 15 was 15.47, and I paid a fiver. So, it's cost me 20 quid for four traps. So I'm going to put them around the, um, the the chickens now, and hopefully the birds won't actually um, start pecking at it. And there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, um, but fingers crossed. 
Um, everything goes the way. I mean, I could have just done use these and and think sod it to the birds, but uh, I actually like um, I like watching birds. And I'm a Twitter, I'm a Twitter, uh, what is it, twitching or whatever it's called. I do like looking um, taking pictures of birds, so I don't want to go killing any <laughs> if I can help it. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get these around the pen now, um, and hopefully when the meeting comes up, we'll get somebody down here to put poison all around the allotments. It'd be smelling like um, some sort of morgue <laughs> by the time it's uh, by the time we've got rid of them all. But we have certainly got rats on the allotments. Unbelievable. Anyhow, it was just a quickie about the rat problem and what we're doing about it. And um, since I've been messing about with that poison, I think it's wise to wash my hands before I eat a bacon butter. Anyhow guys, see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.